Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Carly. If you're new here, welcome. Or if you're returning, thank you for watching my channel and coming back. Today we are going to show you guys feeding all my animals in one video. Audio jungle. like to apologize also for not getting a video up life got busy having issues with recording and storage and all that stuff but today is a collab with Hannah Beth Virginia and she is also doing the same video she's got some super cute goats and she's got a cute donkey named enchilada so make sure you guys go check out her video I will link it down in the description and put it in the i box either right here or here okay our setup for feeding the horses we have this hay trailer that my dad constructed and made out of old work signs and we have all our buckets, and cart that we use to haul the hay. So I just lay out all the buckets. Now all the buckets are filled. I'm gonna load them to this cart. It just makes things a lot easier because there's six buckets and there's seven buckets to feed. So. So the horses all get fed alfalfa cubes and now we're gonna go get their grain. And this is their morning feeding routine. It's about nine o'clock right now. And sometimes they get fed a little bit earlier or a little bit later, it just depends on the day. Um, and they only get grain in the morning, so. And now it's time for grain. Now the tack room is a little bit of a mess right now and the kittens are being noisy and I'm gonna get everyone's grain. I need to go get the feed scoop because it's in with the other cat food. But the kittens are getting very, very big. Mama is closed in here right now, so I can be in here to get green. But here's one of the cute little kittens. And there's Mama. So we're still figuring out what exactly we're feeding for everyone. But right now the horses are on this grain and it's just a simple grain. It looks like that. I'm not sure what it's called, but this is what's been working for us. So I feed about this much. It's just an IFA brand horse feed. Everyone just got that same IFA feed, and then they also got a one full scoop of a performance feed just split between everyone. And then this is what Zippy got, it's just a bodybuilder, so she got a little squirt of that. And then Max got the last of his bodybuilder. Um, Zippy also got half a scoop of this pumpkin seed meal. This was sent to me, so we will see how it works. It's just supposed to help increase circulation and reduce inflammation. So we'll see how that works with her. Everybody of our horses also got two scoops of this, the Redmond Daily Gold. We just got this yesterday actually, so I'm super excited to try that out. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of water on top of the ones with Daily Gold, so just so it'll help mix them. And Redmond is local here in Utah, and I've tried their products before, and I really like them, so I'm excited to be feeding this supplement. Those are 
Mr. Mix, we're gonna feed them to the horses. Something I noticed that's kind of funny is Zippy is most of the time always on the left side and Cookie's always on the right. It doesn't happen every single day, but a lot of the time that's what it is. So now let's feed the other animals. Okay, so for the chickens, we just check to make sure they have food and water and their water does need to be filled up a little bit more and so does their food. Actually, their food is fine. about that much food and they eat two times so I like to give them some of this on the outside in this feeder right here one egg I'll take that up in a little bit so this is their kennel they sleep in here they are on free feeders and we are doing an experiment just to see how they look on this food. So they are being free fed on this food. So they eat as much as they want when they want. And that's just what they've always been good on. So they also have an automatic waterer right over there. So they're set and they do get out every single day and get played with and go for walks. And Bandit looks atrocious right now Hi. because he likes to sleep in the dirt. So this is the chick setup for now. They are gonna get a bigger area in a little bit because they are getting bigger. But if they have their chick starter right there. Cleaned out and refilled. Here are the chicks. They are a lot bigger now, so they are going to get an upgrade here pretty soon to a bigger area because they are outgrowing this. Uh, now let's go take care of the cat. <laughs> I just like to fill up a big scoop full of food and keep it in the tack room for her and it was empty. Okay, so there's awful lighting in here, but I'm gonna fill up her food the rest of the way. So she just eats whenever she wants and whatever she wants. And then we do need to clean up her dish in here, but she doesn't even use the bathroom in here. She goes in a different dish. So I'm gonna leave her food.
So there's her feed dish and there's her water bowls. And she's got a saddle pad in here just to lay on and then the kitten litter everywhere because she spilt it. This one is my favorite one. So they are two or three weeks old now? They are three weeks today. Oh, they're three weeks old today. Now also part of my feeding routine because whenever I come in here, Max likes to come say hi. So I grab him a couple treats. He usually comes and meets me at the window uh, without me asking him to and he'll start licking it and even start chewing on the tack room. But he comes, get his treat. He has to do one thing first though, and that is smile. Good boy. So he's a fat kid, he loves his treats. He's constantly eating, always thinking about food. Sometimes he even chews on the tack room if I won't give him a treat, so. you guys enjoyed my feeding routine uh, please like this video big, big it, big it. give it a big thumbs up if you liked it make sure you guys go check out Hannah Beth's video I'll have it linked in the description and also in the i box and you guys can see her feeding routine with all her animals so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time bye guys